Greetings, I'm Serving Glory, and welcome to part two of my attempt at learning U-Boats. Uh, picking up about seven or eight hours off uh, after where we left off last part. Uh, still on our first patrol, obviously, and still don't have permission to shoot at anybody. Actions are permitted. Hostile actions are permitted. But we have picked up another ship's propeller, uh, so we can get another if attempt to practice our interception skills. Uh, you've been running all that time. Okay, so we need to come to a stop. Periscope depth. We've got low battery capacity and low air quality, but we'll be running on the surface soon enough. Uh, we've got radio operator here. Uh, and he's on shift for another, well, four hours. We've only just turned 11 p.m. Should be on red lights. Right, let's stop ship propeller at 108, so let's plot that, uh, 108, hydrophone, <laughs> I've gone a wee bit overboard with the distance here, 108, plot you there, and you are bearing 1. If you would stay on the bearing, not that it has to. The, the ship is definitely at that bearing, dead on. Okay, uh, stopped. We can run forward for twenty minutes, and then we'll take our second bearing from that point. Uh, another minute. What are we at? One one four. Still at 114, right. So, pull it from there, down here. You are bearing two. And then we want another 20 minutes. Uh, reset that, off we go. Uh, right, uh, as good as they are, bearing 117. Is it going to click to 118? No. Nope. Right. Reset again. 117. Okay. Right then, so now I need to plot a, a random point. Let's use the compasses. And let's make it 30, no, let's make it 25 nautical miles. Plot an intersection there. And this is just a random point. Then we double that again with the compasses to 50 miles, and this becomes point one. Uh, presuming that the bigger the distance, the easier this is. margin for error. Right, I need to get a parallel for bearing 3, so your bearing here is 206, 207. Yeah, we'll take 207 and we need to plot a parallel through here. Let's bring you out, okay, plenty far, that'll do. 207 is here. 027 should be giving, should give us a line directly through there, not quite. Let's shift that point over. 
better. Okay, we can get rid of that then. What's next? I need to. I need to what? I need to extend this line here to. Yeah, that's right. I need to extend that line. So from the random point up through there to get the intersection with uh, bearing 2. Then you become point 2. Right, then we draw a line point 1 through point 2. Gives us the intersection with bearing 3. Uh, point three. And then if we measure the distance between two and three, we get 21 nautical miles. So we need to come out to 42 nautical miles in. Plot the next point. Uh, so on there should do it. And you would be 0.4. And 0.4 gives us our estimated fourth bearing if we were to stay in the same position. Draw that out through 0.4. Right, and you are our bearing four estimate. Right. Let's take a heading of zero six zero on the surface, flank ahead, reset that, and again run for another twenty minutes. But remembering that we need to get back down to periscope depth and get to a halt, let's start to dive. Dead slow ahead, bring the speed down. And we've got propellers detected, come to a stop. 326, that's looking good. If we can get to zero knots. Right, there we are. Okay. So from here. We draw three, two, six. To our sub. And that gives us intersection there. And that is target f at time 4. Because yeah, let's uh, get that's a point three two six. Yeah. That's bearing 4 actual. Right, and then we get back up to our previous course estimate here, heading of 037. Let's get uh, rid of that. 037 we need in here. So 
so there and then we run zero three seven to um to no to uh, to what am I doing here? That's zero three two. That's not zero three seven. Cancel that. Try it. Do it properly. Zero three seven to two one seven comes through there. Just about. But yeah. And now we can plot points. So that would be uh, target one, target two, target three. And I'm going to get rid of I don't want to get to that. It's just because this marker's right on the way. Anyway, it shouldn't matter too much. Let's measure the distances. We've got 6, 11, 18. Ah, uh, 6, 11, 18, right. That's fast. I don't think any ships can do 18 knots. No, 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 no. You know, those are the, no. Yeah, those are the three bearing points, or bearing lines. One, two, and three. Uh, this line here is, let's, I don't want to, no, we can get rid of the bearing four and we can get rid of the bearing four estimate. And yeah, those are the intersections. Something's all right. There's no way. Because that's, that's, well, yeah, that's 18 miles in the space of an hour. Okay, let's assume I've messed up somewhere. And we'll see if we can't um, intercept a ship anyway. Come on, go away. I need the map to be tidy. Now we don't need that. That's the estimated course. Let's say I've messed up somewhere and it's only doing six knots. So if we note that compasses. Right, if it's doing six. takes you to roughly there. My best speed on the surface is 13. Down this direction. Doesn't really matter. Let's just carry on like that. Alright. Uh, target 4. We draw bearing down to the sub.
and yeah down to my speed 35.5 degrees okay uh, let's apply that then down here From there to there, 35 point, f no, that's not going to work. I've missed that, I've got that back to front. I've forgotten completely how to do this. We take the bearing from I take the angle from from there to there six degrees. So then we uh, take add that. Transfer that angle from there, six degrees would be there. So that in theory gives us our intercept course. However, it's obviously unlikely that that's the speed that will do. So let's, anyway. Um, Get back to surface, get back to flank speed, and get going. And if we give ourselves, say from that point, three miles. And fast forward a bit more to get up to this point here. And then if we actually go down to periscope depth, come to a stop and let the hydrophones get to work, see if we can detect anything. Uh, that's not what I'm after, it's this. I've got multiple dots there we can't get rid of. Hydrophones are not picking up anything because the guy's in his bed. Get back up. Listen for contacts. Okay. Zero nine zero. What's being loaded in the background? Stop this now. Zero eight eight. Still at some distance. Uh, so there's also been a miscalculation somewhere. Let's get up, and have a look through the scope. Well, we can actually come off and uh, night lights. Normale Beleuchtung einschalten. I doubt we're going to see anything. Zero, eight, eight. Oh, we can! So it's not that far. Just under the horizon. Okay. Uh, let's clear all of this up then. And if we Let's come right to 090. Uh, 090. There. Carry on at flank, back to the surface. And hopefully we'll get some batteries up. Stop direct orders. 
Let's get back up. Okay. Zero eight zero ish. Get there on a second. Oh, no, because we are turning towards. I don't think we'd have turned that much, though. No, there it is. Excellent. Freighter 0 to 5. Let's get back to flank. We are charging the batteries. Right. And the good thing is that we're heading east. So we'll have the, oh, they'll have the sun behind them. We'll still be in the dark. Now, more spots that we can't get rid of. Spilling ink on the map. Okay, uh, let's speed up slightly. It's beginning to appear over the horizon now. Let's come left to say 060. And if we run for five minutes, about there, I could have used a chronometer instead of eyeballing my pocket watch. Sixty degrees ish. Okay, let's run for another five minutes. for 10 minutes this time. Then we'll get down to periscope depth, I think. Have a look through the attack scope. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, that was it. Uh, you are now on the bridge. I've lost it. Oh no, because I've turned towards it, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we are. Okay. Dive the boat to periscope depth. We didn't get much in the batteries. You get sailors assigned. Zitch, yeah. Oh, gives them a lot of fuel usage drops. It doesn't actually do anything for the increase in the batteries. Anyway, let's get down. Have a look. Seems a bit choppy. 051, we should find it. There we are. Okay, let's lock it anyway. It's a tower class because you can tell by the towers at the back. Recognize you. Let's go for a speed estimate. Come to a halt. Let's 
could do with a wee bit more height here. A wee bit more, uh, a wee bit less depth. Let's come up a couple of meters and try and hold it there. That's a bit better, right? Okay, so velocity start. I wonder what I did in that calculation to make me think it was doing 18 knots. I don't know. It was not going right. Uh, right, 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 okay. Yeah. It wasn't actually calculating the speed as such. Okay, it's doing 8 knots. Let's have a estimate of the distance. About seven and a half thousand meters. Okay. And England about is about ninety degrees just now actually, isn't it? Uh, let's go to our oh, we don't have an officer in the TDC. Go there. Quickly now, you're not a runner. There we are. Right, the TDC, and we are locked to the attack scope. And the angle in the bow is uh, starboard, no, port 90. England boat. I just want to just did this. Settle for eighty nine point nine. Schuss aktualisieren. Gegnerfahrt acht Knoten. If only we could shoot. Drei, sieben, sechs Meter. Torpedoes are all maintained and everything. All right, uh, so bearing 043, we'll the scope, we'll get back down to periscope depth and we will just carry on our course. Let's head in at flank. Maybe bring it left slightly. Zero seven zero. And run for five minutes again. There we are. And again, I want to come up to. Make it five meters. That should be plenty. I want to just estimate the distance now. We are at five. We're fully extended. And that's... That's roughly on the water line, I suppose. Let's... Try it. Go with that. Down to six thousand six hundred. Okay. Carry on. Let's go for. 10 minutes this time. And we'll just stay at periscope depth. I didn't need to do that. Yep. The bearing hasn't 
changed an awful lot. What up? Six times magnification. Yeah. So not close enough to get an identification yet. Let's come right. Zero eight five. And we'll run for fifteen minutes this time. Smoke over the horizon detected. What's that? Must be just be the same ship. Keep heads and points there. Hmm. Let's get back up to four degrees at uh, four meters, sorry. Distance uh, Distance estimate is about that would do. Down to five thousand meters. We're now in fact let's Oh, I don't have the ability to measure it actually. Let's see probably somewhere around it's not 45 I think we'll go with 40 degrees Schuss Unterlagen aktualisieren Lage 40 links this will be orders here Right, let's uh we're at zero. Let's go back to zero seven zero. Run for ten minutes. I suppose what I could do is always board the ship. No, it's turned away from us. Hmm. So it was heading that, that direction. It's heading more like zero nine zero. Right. Okay. So I'm not going to catch it anyway, and it's time for a break. Uh, we'll just continue our patrol. Let's head north, 50 miles, east 100, and then head home, 125, and then from there we would head down there. Okay, so time for a break. I I guess we're heading back to port. If nothing else happens, then next part we'll start a new patrol. If there's anything of interest occurs in the meantime, I'll bring you back for that instead. For now though, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.